Welcome to this week's changelog where we talk about the changes on Solana week by week. My name is Jacob and I'm joined today by Colin and let's get started. So this past week, um, there was another core community call. The core community call is a call amongst the core protocol developers on Solana talking about the upcoming changes and features that they need to agree on and align uh, to build their different clients. So as you may know, may know, there are currently two clients being built right now, or at least two clients. There's the Labs client that the Solana Labs team is building, and then there's the Fire Dancer client that the Jump team is building. There's also the Gito client, which is kind of like a, an addition on top of the Labs client that's being built. And with the core community call, they're basically agreeing on the implementation of different things. Um, so this past week, they were talking about a optimistic restart automation. So what this was uh, is a way for the different clients to agree upon a optimistically confirmed slot in the case of issues on the cluster. Okay, Colin, and what was the SRFC that you saw this week? Yes, so today we're going to highlight SRFC 0009 which is titled Sign In with Programmable Wallets Using Off-Chain Delegates. And I guess the problem that this particular SRFC is trying to solve is that there are some programmable wallets that don't have a corresponding private key. Therefore, it's like somewhat very difficult to be able to authenticate a user. So this is um, suggesting that there's um, uh, a particular delegate that can be made to a key pair um, and that particular key pair can sign on behalf of the programmable wallet. So I think this is um, probably a problem that is plaguing uh, like multi-sig wallets mainly. Uh, so yeah, begin to like uh, address that that particular problem. Right. I think this is very related to all the hype recently about account abstraction in the Ethereum community. What's uh, great about account abstraction on Solana is that it's always been... Uh, available on Solana, like you with PDAs, you can always do account abstraction, yeah. um, and I guess CPI as well. So this is kind of improving on that. So something to note about SRFCs for those that do not know, um, these are just standards that are like application standards for people to implement and agree upon. So things like how to sign in with a programmable smart wallet using off-chain delegates. That's something that people want to agree upon, so that different wallets within the ecosystem can implement the same standard. Uh, what this kind of gets into is that like, you don't need a protocol change for the majority of SRFCs, especially with this one where programmable wallets are already uh, a possibility on Solana. You can just do it. And if you have, like say, for example, if the top wallets implement it, um, it would take, it would just, that's all it would take them to implement it. It would take no actual protocol change. So that goes back to account abstraction, even though it's a new big thing on Ethereum has always been possible on Solana. Because we're talking about, um, the ability to authenticate users, probably just want to take this opportunity to plug in the authorization spec that is part of the Solana pay repo. Um, I think, yeah, there's been a ton of work that's been done on that particular spec that is almost like somewhat related to this in almost to have a, a particular way for um, almost like you know, for the client that you have to be able to sign in with your mobile wallet. And just like a quick plug, if the current wallet on Solana can take a look at that particular spec so that um, we can begin to get some kind of adoption from the wallet side. Because in terms of like the spec, it's already written out, there's already a reference wallet implementation for that as well. So please check that out so we can get some adoption on uh, actual wallets that users use. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, and then the commit that I saw this past week is that there was a different way to get the leader schedule up to one epoch in the future. Um, mm -hmm. This is so that people can kind of understand of um, what the current leader schedule will be in the upcoming epoch. It gives them a lot more information. Um, this can also be helped out with like testing. Um, it can kind of like give you an idea of you as a leader, how you're going to do, et cetera. Um, so it's a really cool commit. 
I'm glad that and what I'm glad that someone was able to do it. And not only uh, that, it was someone within the community, not someone at like the labs, Fire Dancer, Jito, or Mango Team, which is really cool. Yep, cool. And then, what kind of resources have you seen this week? Yes, so the resource of the week that I saw was around Clockwork and um, Soul Play Jonas, who's one of the dev roles at Foundation, uh, created like a tutorial on how to build a game using a Clockwork. So if you want to learn a, a bit into how Clockwork works and also want to build a cool game, definitely check out this um, <coughs> this resource that exists. The second one that I saw was um, the light, light RPC by Mango Markets. And um, it's, it's kind of like purports to be a more uh, efficient way, or sorry, it's slightly more efficient um, to send and confirm tr transactions that, than the typical RPC is. So this is not to actually replace RPC providers. It's just um, a way to like reduce the load uh, on the RPC infrastructure itself. So definitely check that out. And if you want almost like faster confirmation times, that's the route to go down. Yeah, those really, both of those resources are really cool. Um, so part of like this, uh, Jonas's, what he's creating. So he created an idle game. That's the resource, right? Um, mm -hmm. What he's been doing is he's been building different genres of games and putting them into the game development kit on the Solana Developers Org. And then on the RPC Lite client, um, it's kind of like, it takes less hardware to run an RPC node with that, um, mm -hmm. which is great. Like that's a huge thing um, and it will allow more people to run RPC clients that couldn't pro couldn't possibly do it before. Oh, okay. um, so yep. two awesome resources this week, glad to have them. Um, so yeah, thank you all for joining us this week on the Solana Changelog. Uh, come join us next week where we will talk more changes on Solana. Adios. Well, don't forget to join us on Fridays for our Twitter spaces called DevRelChat. Chat.